Welcome to this training video on the importance of kind handling for your puppy. When you start the first lessons, ensure the puppy is in an open space, stress free, and the handler is in a non-threatening position. Allow all the decision and drive forward to come from the puppy. So they learn the lesson that hands are kind and they give treats. When using games and toys, it will increase the puppy's bond and love with their owner and make them more fun to be around. This gives us another reward option during training and strengthens an owner's bond with their puppy. Keep the toy low and smooth moving, praising the puppy as it interacts with the toy. You can build another fun training lesson onto this by encouraging a puppy to fetch toys back to you. They run out after the toy and drive back to the reward area. As a puppy learns to drive to hands, they can be asked to wait or held by someone. You should call the puppy to you and deliver the treats from the hands. The result is the puppy learns to run back to you and enjoy the game of being around the handler and kind hands. Puppy is happy to be around your hands and so you can start to gently throw tidbits out to animate the lesson. Acceptance is best taught when the puppy and handler are very calm and happy. You should sit on the floor with the puppy sitting between your legs and ensure you handle the puppy smoothly and on areas which are non-confrontational including their chest and under their chin. Once used to sitting still, you can progress to getting the puppy into position. From standing, gently turn them around to sitting and continue to praise and smooth. Always keep hands slow moving and verbally praise at a calm tone when you say good puppy, well done and not at a wind up level to over excite them. Asking a puppy to rest its chin on your hand is a very useful positional trick to teach. This will be useful in the future if ear or eye drops need to be administered. Gently cup the puppy's chin into your hand and verbally praise and smooth the muzzle area. As with all lessons and especially for the handling, this must be done gently with no pressure or confrontation. If the puppy finds it difficult, then just take it nice and slowly. A puppy must have foundation blocks in place of kind hands before being asked to be examined. Puppies should be examined as often as possible, ideally daily for very short periods of time until this is built up to be done every few days. The easiest place to start is to smooth through the puppy's coat and allow them to settle. Look for parasites, redness, sores, lumps or any thistles or similar things from their walks. To begin the examination, the chin rest position is very useful. You can start with eyes and gently look at them and hold the puppy's head still to gain a good look. Ensure there's no redness or discharge from the areas. Fold back the ears and ensure they are clean with no obvious wax, discharge or redness. And you can practice looking down the ear and smelling the ear to ensure it is clean. When training mouth examination, you must avoid coming over the puppy or covering their eyes, which can frighten them. Instead, come from underneath and gently lift the lip to check the gums and teeth are healthy and to start gently finger or tooth brushing. You should also practice a gentle mouth open in case this is needed to give medication or in an emergency. As you move to the front legs, smooth them to ensure the puppy is happy and then progress to lifting a foot. Never pull a dog's leg away from its body and always keep it supported. The toes need to be gently separated as you look between, check for any lumps, redness or things that you may have collected out on walks. As you turn the foot the other way, you can look at the underside of the condition of the skin and also of their pads. Smooth gently down the back legs when they're in a standing position prior to lifting up the back feet and repeating the same examination process. As they are standing, you can lift up the tail to check that the genital areas and anal area are clean and free from discharge. Finally, we look underneath the puppy, gently lifting up the front feet to allow them to get used to the feeling of being off balance and we check for any lumps or juvenile spots. 
always rewarding as we carry out the examination process, giving them tidbits in between exercises. It is useful to train for the future and it is very common that dogs need to have ear cleaner or treatments at some point. First start by folding back the ear flap and looking at the condition of the ear and be aware of the canal entrance which is where treatments would be applied. Smell the ear to ensure it is odour free as infection will often smell and give you a sign that a visit to your veterinary surgeon is needed. Massage the puppy's ear as this is an important part of applying ear cleaners and treatments and training acceptance for this from an early age will make later treatments easier for both dogs and owners. Feed treats during all of these lessons and verbally and physically reward the puppy throughout. In summary, always keep it fun, be kind to a puppy and ensure both the handler and puppy are having fun. Only train when you are both in a good mood and feeling relaxed and if you need support, please seek advice from your local veterinary practice. We hope you've enjoyed this video.